Hi, in this video, we are going to talk about mean, median, and mode of ungrouped data. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to accurately define and illustrate the measures of central tendency. Those are the mean, median, and mode of an ungrouped data. Accurately differentiate mean, median, and mode from each other and appropriately use mean, median, and mode in solving word problems. First, let us just define ungrouped data. When we say ungrouped data, these are data given as individual value. So, ibig sabihin hindi pa siya naggrupo. Hindi pa naggroup into different intervals or into different classes. So, um, also it, it, this is also known as raw data. Okay? Raw data. So, ungrouped data. Example, the numbers 1, 3, 10, 5, 2, and 9 is an example of an ungrouped data. So, kung ano yung original na data, yun lang yung binigay. So, that's ungrouped data. Now, the mean. Mean is one of the measures of central tendency. So, this is the average value of a set of data. Again, the average value of a set of data. The mean is the sum of all the values in the set of data divided by the number of values. So, let's understand this. To solve for mean, ibig sabihin, uh, sum of all the values, i-add lahat ng values and i-divide sa kung ilan lahat sila. Okay? Um, the mean of a sample or the sample mean is denoted by x bar. Okay? This symbol, meaning... Um, Mean ng sample yan, okay? The mean of a population or the population mean is denoted by mu, okay? This symbol. So, below is the formula for the sample mean. So, we have x bar equals summation of x divided by n. When we say summation of x, this part right here sa numerator, summation of x meaning lahat ng values, i-add mo lahat. So, that's summation. When we say n, that's the number of values. Okay, ilan ba sila lahat? Ilan lahat ang inad mo? So, yun ang i-divide. Because that's the average value. Okay, let's have an example. In the group data 1, 3, 10, 5, 2, and 9, the mean is 5. So, paano kinuha yung 5? So, we have the formula x bar equals summation of x over n. And that is, pwede nang... Uh, hindi isulat ito, no? This is just the explanation of summation of x over n. So, pwedeng diretsyo na ganito. Ibig sabihin ng summation of x, i-add mo lahat yan. 1 plus 3 plus 10 plus 5 plus 2 plus 9. Okay? And i-divide mo kung ilan lahat yung inad mo. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, divided by 6. So, the answer is 5. So, therefore, the average value is 5. Okay, that's the average value, which is the mean, is 5. Now, median. Okay. Median is also one of the measures of central tendency. When we say central tendency, we're talking about the center. You know, the center. Um, median is the middle value. Okay, ibig sabihin yung nasa gitna mismo when we uh, talk about location or position. Okay, position. Of a set of data when arranged in order. Okay? Arrange in order. Sa mean kanina, hindi kailangang i-arrange yung data from highest to lowest. But for median, we really have to arrange it because we're looking at the middle value. Okay? Yung nasa gitna. Right? So, to find for the mean of an even number of values, get the mean or average of the two middle values. But in this case, we are going to use the formula n plus 1 divided by 2. That's th. Okay? So, that's the median. Alright? So, when we say n, ibig sabihin kung ilan sila lahat, and always plus 1, and always divide sa 2. Okay? Th, ibig sabihin, that's the location, or we're talking about the position. Example, in the ungrouped data 1, 3, 10, 5, 2, and 9, the median is 4. How did, how, how, how did we get this? Okay. Um, first, you have to arrange the data from lowest to highest. And so that's 1, 2, 3, 5, 9, and 10. And then if we are going to use this formula, um, ilan ba sila lahat? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 
So, 6 silang lahat. So, substituting, that's 6 plus 1 divided by 2. Okay? And that is equal to 7 divided by 2. And that is 3.5 th. Okay? 3.5 th. This is not yet the median, but this tells us that the median is between the third and the fourth. Okay, 3.5 man, 3.5. Nasa gitna ng third at saka ng fourth position or fourth value. Okay, so ito yung first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. So, between 3 and 5. Okay, between 3 and 5. So, paano natin malalaman kung ano yung nasa gitna ng 3 at saka 5? Well, in that case, we need to get the mean or the average of the two values. Okay, so with that, we have 3 plus 5 divided by 2. Simply, we're, we're just solving for the mean, no? Nang 3 at saka ng 5. Kasi yun ang nasa gitna nila. And so that is 8 divided by 2 and that is 4. Meaning, this is our median. So, pinagpatuloy lang yan, ha? This is our median. So, eto, 3.5. Oh, ayan. So, again, ibig sabihin ng 3.5 position or 3.5 value. That's between the third and the fourth. Between the third and the fourth. So, we have 3 and 5. So, in between nila, that's 3 plus 5 over 2. And that is 8 over 2, that is 4. So, our median is 4. Meaning nito, kasi ang median ay 4, meaning 50% kalahati ng data ay greater than 4, and kalahati din ng data ay less than 4. Let's check. Si C4, andito sa gitna. Ibig sabihin yung kalahati, greater than 4, and yung kalahati naman ay less than 4. So, yan ang ibig sabihin ng median. Next, we have the mode. Ano ba itong mode? The mode is also a measure of central tendency, but this specifically refers to the most frequent or common value in a set of data. Meaning to say, ano yung pinakamaraming value na nandun? Right? The most Frequently occurring value. To get the mode of the data, um, to get the mode of the data set, we simply find the value that appears the most. Okay? The value that appears most often. There could be more than one mode or no mode at all in a given set of data. Example, in the ungrouped data 1, 3, 10, 5, 2, 9, there is no mode. Kasi naman, yung 1, it appears only once. Yung 3, only once lang din. Okay? Ang 10, isa lang din siya. 5, isa lang din. Ang 2, isa lang din. Ang 9, isa lang din. So, walang mode. Okay? There's no mode in this set of data. Pero mamaya, we are going to have an example wherein meron tayong mode. Again, ang mode, magagamit lang kung gusto mong malaman ano yung pinakamaraming data or ano yung pinakamaraming value na nag-occur in a given data set. Right? Let's try this. Example number one, given the following data, find the median. Okay, median tayo. Remember that the median um, is the middle position. Okay? The middle position. But first, we need to arrange the data set from lowest to highest. Okay, we have one, four, 3, um, andito na yung sagot, ano? Kaya andito na yung sagot. Uh, but uh, I'm gonna show you later kung paano nakuha itong 16. So we have 1, 4, 13, 16, 35, 36, 45. So ang ginawa lang, um, in-arrange lang yung data set. Okay? Pagkatapos na arrange kinuha lang yung pinakagitna. And yung pinakagitna ay ang 16. So, that's the median. But in the case na medyo marami and um, parang, parang hindi masyadong madali to locate the middle value, then you can use the formula. Okay? Median is equal to n plus 1 over 2. And so, ilan ba sila? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 
then plus 1 over 2. Okay? So, 7 plus 1 is 8. 8 divided by 2 is 4. Okay? And so, we the median is the fourth value. Okay? The fourth val value. But you're not going to look for the fourth value dito sa, raw da dito sa data na given. Of course, dun ka na maghahanap, dun sa na-arrange mo na. Okay? So, first, second, third, fourth. So, meaning, this is the median. So, the fourth value is 16. Okay? So, since the data has odd number of values, the median is the middle value, which is 16. So, pareho lang sila. Alright? So, meaning nito, uh, half of the values are greater than 16. We can see that here. Ayan, half. And half of the value is less than 16. Okay? 50%. Let's have example number two. What is the mode of the set of values below? What is the mode of the set of values below? We're talking about the mode. Ibig sabihin, ano yung pinakamarami? Alright? So, by looking at the data, parang we can easily see, ano, kung uh, ano yung may pinakamarami. But it would help a lot if you arrange the data set, no? Hindi naman siya requirement to arrange um, the values from lowest to highest, but um, it can help us to distinguish or to determine kung alin doon ang may pinakamaraming uh, values. Okay? Um, so, the mode is the value that occurs the most frequent in a set of data. Observe that the value of 61 appears three times, while the rest of the values appear only either once or twice. So, therefore, we can say that the mode is 61. Yung may pinakamarami, kasi si 59, uh, may kasama ba siya? Si 59, isang beses lang. Si 57, dalawa. Si 74 naman, isang beses lang. Si 61, one. 2, 3, tatlo. Si 64, isa lang. So, therefore, pinakamarami si 61. So, the mode is 61. Now, let's try this uh, real-world problem. Louie was assigned to register the participants in a voluntary community work. She asked the participants to write their names and ages, and the ages of the participants are as follows. We have this age of the participants. Now, determine the mode of the ages and interpret what it means. So, we are asked to determine the mode. Now, in this case, kung bibilangin natin sila isa-isa, parang it would be very, um, a bit difficult for us kasi marami yung values. Now, it would help us a lot if we arrange the values from lowest to greatest. Just like this one. So, we have 11, isa. 13, oh, ilan ba si 13? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, 6. Si 15, dalawa. Si 17, dalawa. Si 18, 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 lang din si 18, ano? Yan. Then, 19, isa. 20, isa. 21, isa. 22, dalawa. So, meaning, yung may pinakamaraming values ay si 13. Okay, si 13. So, therefore, the mode is 13. So, yung kanina, dahil ang mode ay 13, ibig sabihin nun that uh, the age of the participants are mostly um, 13 years old. So, or most of the participants are 13 years old. Okay? Pinakamarami yung 13 years old sa mga participants. So, yun ang ibig sabihin ng mode. Ngayon naman, let's find the average age of the participants. Ano ba yung average age ng participants? So, we are going to use the formula um, x bar equals summation of x divided by n. So, ibig sabihin, i-add natin ito lahat. Okay? I-add natin lahat and i-divide natin kung ilan sila. Okay? So, we have 11 um, ilan ba yung 13? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so we have 13 times 6, that is 78, plus 11, that is 89. Okay, tapos may dalawang 15, so that's 30, plus 30, ayan, 119, 
And then my dalawang 17. So that's um, 34. Okay, tama ba 34? Yes. So that would be 153. And then we have 1, 2, 3, 4. Apat na 18. So plus apat na 18. That's 225 plus isang 19. 244 plus 20. 264 plus 21. 285 and dalawang 22. That's 44. That's 329. Okay, so we have 329. Divided by yung N natin, ilan ba silang lahat? So, we count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, so we have 20. So, 329 divided by 20, that's 16.45. Okay. Meaning to say, the average age of the participants is 16.45 years old. Okay. Now, the next question is, 50% of the participants are above what age? Ano kayang tinatanong nito? 50% of the participants are above what age? So, meaning, it asked for the Yes, it asked for the median. Kasi yung median, yun yung nasa gitnang bahagi ng data set. So, the middle position. Meaning, 50% are greater than or above the median. And 50% is lower than or less than the median. Right? So, 50% of the participants are above what age? So, we are looking for the median. And that is N plus 1 divided by 2 TH that's the position so N, kanina we knew that we have 20 participants so we have 20 plus 1 divided by 2 20 plus 1 is 21 over 2 and 21 over 2 is 10.5 TH okay, ibig sabihin the median is between the 10th and the 11th value. Okay? So, how, how are we going to solve this? So, we have, um, ano ba yung 10th at saka 11th? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's 17. Plus, oh, 17 din siya. 17 divided by 2. Kasi nasa gitna daw ng dalawa. Ano ba yung nasa gitna nito? That's the 10th and the 11th position. Ano yung nasa gitna? Kasi 10.5. Alright? So, 17 plus 17, that's 34. Divided by 2, and that is still 17. So, therefore, the middle position or the middle value is 17. It means that, 50% uh, of the participants are above 17 years old. And also, we can say that 50% uh, of the participants are below 17 years old. That's it.